everybody, welcome to our giraffe enclosure on World Giraffe Day. Um, today's World Giraffe Day, the 21st of June, and that's because it's the longest day of the year and the giraffe is the tallest animal. We've got three giraffe here at the park and they're all male, so we've got what's called a bachelor group. Um, we do have two different species of giraffe here. We've got Jambo, who is a Rothschild or Nubian giraffe, so he has a really nice dark coat pattern with kind of beigey lines in between his dark spots. And then we've got two reticulated giraffe, Pale and Django, um, and they have a really bright orange coloured pattern with very white lines in between their orange spots. Um, so Jambo is our oldest giraffe and he is 13 years old. Then we've got Pale. Pale is 12 years old. And then we have Django, who's our youngest and smallest giraffe, and he is 10 years old. All of our giraffe have got really different personalities. So Jambo is the tallest, the oldest, the biggest giraffe we've got here, but he's also the shyest. Um, so he does tend to be a little bit nervous about new things. He's a lot more confident with his keepers now. So we have been able to do lots of training with him um, because he's had a bit of an injury recently on his leg. Um, we've had to do some x-rays and he's been such a good boy. We've been able to train him to put his feet on blocks so that we can do hoof trimming. Um, and then we've been, been able to x-ray his legs um, and do all sorts of different things to try and help him with that. He's doing loads better now, so you'll definitely see him out in the paddock if you come and visit the park. Um, then we've got Pale. Pale is a little bit of a wanderer, so he tends to just follow the crowd and uh, follow what's going on. Um, sometimes he can be a bit naughty and start fights, but generally he's a pretty chill guy and just likes to follow what everybody else is doing. Um, and then we've got Django, who's our youngest giraffe, but even though he is the smallest giraffe we've got here, he is the most confident giraffe that we have. Um, so he tends to be the one who's first in looking at everything, even when stuff's a bit scary and everybody else is having a good look, he's straight over um, um, having a, a good nosy at what's going on. He's really curious, he's really intelligent, and he's also really, really clever. Um, so when we do the training with our giraffe, um, all of them do the same kind of training, but they all take to it a little bit differently. Um, but Django is really, really clever. He picks things up super quick. Um, but sometimes if uh, we don't cue him quite right, he'll also pick up the wrong things quickly too. So we have to be really on it with training him. Uh, where the other giraffe tend to be a little bit steadier um, and a little bit uh, easier in terms of not picking up the wrong behaviours. Uh, but they are all really good boys for their training and we're able to do quite a lot of stuff with them with their hooves, um, which helps us to take care of them the best way that we can. So giraffe are what we call a browsing ruminant um, and all that means is that they would eat uh, leaves, they eat lots of things off trees, so branches, um, they eat the bark off branches too, but leaves are the main thing that these guys would eat in the wild. And a wild giraffe could eat up to about 35 kilos of leaves in one day. Um, a really big male giraffe might eat up to as much as 60 kilos. So that is an awful lot of leaves that these guys have to eat to be able to survive. So here at the park we feed our giraffe loads of branches throughout the day so they get lots of winches in their yard and out in the Africa paddock when they go out there. Um, so they're eating um, leaves all day long which is really really important for these guys because their digestive systems need to be moving all the time. Um, so they do spend most of their time eating and if they're not eating they might be ruminating um, and that is when they bring the food back up and they rechew it. So you'll see a big lump of food come up to their neck um, and their cheeks will blow out really big um, and then they'll be chewing for a little while and swallow it back down. And the reason they do that is to get as much out of their food as they possibly can so they do have a really efficient digestive system um, they squeeze every little drop of nutrients um, and moisture out of their food so that they're getting um, all of the benefit from it and only pooing out the uh, really uh, wasteful bits that they don't need and that's why draft poo is really really small Giraffe have lots of really cool adaptations. So they do have a really long prehensile tongue so they can move their tongue independently. And that's really useful when they are browsing on trees because it means they can be quite selective and they can pick things off that they want. Um, they can stick their tongue right into trees that have really big thorns and things like that. So it's a really useful thing for them to have. Uh, their tongue's really long as well so it can be up to about 50 centimeters um, from the back. So a very, very long tongue that they can reach right up into the trees to be able to eat as much as they can. Um, it's also really useful in that it helps them to be able to grab as much food as possible at once and um, so they can grab loads of leaves and pull them into their mouth um, so again helps them to make sure they're getting lots and lots of food throughout the day. Um, their tongues are also quite dark in colour so they're kind of a bluey grey colour and that just helps to stop their tongue from getting sunburn while they've got it out throughout the day because they would be browsing pretty much all day long um, with their tongues out so a really useful feature for these guys to have. So on the tops of their heads giraffe have what we call ossicones and these are a bit different to horns or antlers that you see in other species um, because they're actually made of bone and they're fused into the skull of the giraffe. 
Um, so if you have a giraffe skull, the ossicones are part of that skull structure. It's all fused together. Um, and as the male giraffe get older, they also will start to lay down extra bone on their skull. So they lay down more calcium that helps to make their head nice and strong. And the reason that they have these ossicones is for fighting mostly. So dr male giraffe will fight using their ossicones. So they will smack each other pretty hard with their heads. Um, so it's really important that their heads are nice and big and strong so that they do have that feature to be able to use when they're fighting. Um, female giraffe do also also have ossicones but they tend to be a little bit on the smaller side um, and sometimes they also keep the hair on their ossicones as well so when giraffe are born they do have hair uh, all over the tops of their ossicones they can have really big tufty bits um, but as the males get older and they're sort of starting to use them they'll rub the hair off really quickly um, and then the older male giraffe will never really have any hair on their ossicones but sometimes the females will keep them and have nice big tufts of hair on the top of their head which is really cute so just like humans, giraffe do actually have seven vertebrae in their neck, but obviously in comparison to ours, they're much, much bigger and much, much stronger. Another really cool adaptation that giraffe have is that they have a series of valves in their jugular that help to slow the blood flow down to their brain when they put their heads to the ground. So you don't often see giraffe putting their heads right down to the floor. The only time they tend to do it is if their water source might be on the floor or if there's something interesting down there that they want to pick up. Um, but they don't often do it, especially the bigger giraffe, because it's quite difficult uh, for them to get their, their legs all the way out there to be able to get the neck down. But they can do it. Um, but when they do do it, they've got these series of valves that will slow the blood flow down to their brain as they've got their head right down to the ground. And then as they lift their head back up, the blood will get released um, and the blood flow will return back to normal. And this is a really tiny, tiny valve that they have. Um, but in these guys, so important for their just general functioning and day-to-day -day life. Here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park, we support the Giraffe Conservation Foundation. And this is an organisation that's doing incredible work to help protect giraffe in the wild.